And we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And... <clears throat> Ooh, sorry if I may seem a little bit <clears throat> lower energy. Just... Guess I need a little bit of water. <laughs> so we just went through <clears throat> a nice little stream of Act 2 of Inscription. And now it's time for some Pokemon. Now, last time we were on our way to face our rival, uh, Dawn. But before we think of her, we need to face this trainer. Now, the thing about this trainer is... I'm gonna show you... Yeah, I'm gonna... I now have this set up. This trainer is this one. The one with the Ambipom, Starmie, and the Torterra. So that's what we need to plan for. And we have... That means we need to go with the fighter first. Then... Uh, damn, I already forgot. It was the Starmie, right? Yep, against the Starmie. Then I need to go with this guy. And finally the... Starmie and Torterra, right? Uh, Starmie and the Torterra. There's a risk of Earthquake there. This thing has Levitate. And Poison, so I think I'm gonna go for this one. I need some items. Or some berries, even. We just need Citruses. As you can now see, because now I'm, I can show you this, we only know the mons, we don't actually know their move sets, so we can't completely plan for these battles. Okay, let's go. Ip Man. Too close combat. Okay, he fakes... Ooh, that's some damage on the fake out. Now, Starmie probably sees Surf. Or some water move, water pulse or something. Okay, it went Psychic, which is fine. Um... I guess I'll detect just out of curiosity. Okay, doesn't seem to have a nice move. Okay. Now, against Torterra, we can detect again. Okay, this thing intends to crunch. See? It would be a bad move to swap to, to this guy. Hmm... But if he intends to crunch, then I can bring back to the future. Yes. And I can flamethrower him. Nice. Detect helping us out. A lot more use than I gave it credit for, to be honest. So, let's bring you back here. Okay. This double battle is... Gyarados, Gliscor, Victory Ball, Typhlosion, Ursaring, and Ampharos. For the love of God, do not trigger this battle. Okay. Now, for this guy up here... This is probably the Ace Trainer Ernest. With the Politoed, Pinsir, Probopass, and Zatu. Ninja Boys, Veterans, Birth Keepers, Black... So yeah, it's definitely the Ace Trainer Ernest. So let's... Make a team around that. First there is the Politoed, easiest way. Then, to go against the Pinsir, because he's probably going to try and do bug moves on us. We take the Typhlosion. Then, it's the Probopass. For the Probopass, it's going to be water. You do have a water move, right? You have Bubble Beam. Okay. We do not have Surf just yet. Right. 
And finally, the Zatu. To tackle on the Zatu, we could use some ground type or something. Well, we can go Aurora Beam. Okay. We avoided the battle, that's even better. Fight over there, so never mind. Okay, this one is a black belt, and black belts have. Let's see, out of all the possible ones, it's only this guy the black belt Adam with a Machamp, a Blaziken, and a Heracross. Machamp. Blaziken and Heracross, which means... Hmm... Actually, I'm not sure what that means, because we have nothing to tackle the Machamp. Other than extra sensory. Which we can use. So we can go for that. Then there is the Blaziken. Which we use Kingdra for. And finally the Heracross, which would require flying. Huh. We have Night Slash. We don't have a lot of responses for this. But I... Hmm. I mean, I guess I could... Hmm, let's see. This guy doesn't turn, it's a mandatory fight. Okay. Okay, good. Awesome. Awesome, okay. So that was real easy. Then it's another mandatory fight. So this one's either a Bird Keeper, Bird Keeper Brianna, maybe? I don't think it's Ace Trainer Ernest. Because if at this stage we're tackling people at level 42, I don't see a guy level 41, 41 showing up. Hmm. So I suppose it's gonna be Bird Keeper Brianna with the Dodrio, Pidgeot and Skarmory. Dodrio, Pidgeot, and Skarmory. So the best course of action is to just use this. But I am gonna boost him up to level 52. Just for reassurance. Okay, level 52. Let's tackle the birds. Aurora Beam. Beam. Or Aurora Beam. Okay, good. Now, the veteran. This veteran has 10 growth, rapid ash, and for alligator. In our previous run, we actually avoided this guy. But it's pretty much grass, fire, water. So, 10 growth, then comes the fire, and then comes the water, okay. We made it past. Okay, now it's the rival. Okay, we made it this far, we avoided Every battle we could. Uh, and since the level cap is... Hmm, let me bring everybody up to at least 51. And we need to carefully think of our items this time. Because... Because... Whoever faces Clefable needs a Cherry Berry. 
and that's our metagross. Then, actually that's about it. That's pretty much it. So, you face the Alakazam. You will face the Mamoswine. So Grinch faces the Alakazam. Shrek faces the Mamoswine. Inception is going to fight the Clefable. Ip Man is going to face the Low Pony. Um, which is even better because Metagross should bait a Fire Punch. Or ideally, that's what would happen. Then Lord of the Rings is going to face the Vaporeon. And Back to the Future faces Torterra. Okay. Let's go. So, Shadow Ball the Alakazam. He swaps to Vaporeon. Why? Because it's his extra sensory. Okay. If it sees extra sensory, I think it's relatively safe to get Skep Skeptile in, aka Lord of the Rings. Aqua Ring, that's even better. Okay. Then the Mammoth Swine comes out. Because he sees, right, he sees an ice move. I mean, can't I just, uh, we shouldn't risk it. Let's not risk it. Swap to Shrek, according to plan. See, because the ice shard would have attacked first. We would have been hit. It's just bubble beam. He earthquakes, but that's fine. We have a citrus berry. Now the Clefable. The Clefable intends to use either Moonblast or it's going to Thunder Wave. It misses the Thunder Wave, that's awesome. So we can just Bullet Punch. Deals at least half, right? Almost gets the kill actually. Thunder Wave does nothing. Nice. And we got the kill. Then comes out the Torterra. The thing is that he intends to use Earthquake. That's certain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap, uh, swap to Grinch. And I'm actually gonna Sludge Bomb you. Because you... The best thing you can do is either Iron Head or Rock Slide. So I'm gonna Sludge Bomb you. Wood hammer, which we resist. We get the kill. Now the reason she brought um, low punny is because of the scrappy ability. Intends to strength. So I'm gonna swap this guy back in. Because we can tank it. And now low punny sees, um, sees fire punch. So now we can bring out Ip Man. She actually went strength. Resist! It was a crit. Damn it! Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's let's bring out this guy because she has fire punch and ice punch, right? Yeah. So we benefit more from bringing out Shrek. Or we just... Hmm, we can also attempt the flamethrower. Let's see... Flamethrower. Okay, that works. Okay. Lost Primeape on that. We got off lucky that we caught a Toxic Rogue last time. Okay. Not the worst death. But Jesus Christ, I'm realizing I've lost four fighters already. 
We still have the Polyrath, we still have a Krogunk. And that's actually about it, right? Yeah, that's actually about it. We have two fighters. Whew, not the best. Not the best. It's alright. We beat the rival. So, after the rival, what comes next? That's gonna be Cyrus. Cyrus and Darak are pretty much the next... Well, and Barry again. Are pretty much the, the opponents until we get to the 6th gym. So, a lot of stuff to handle. Okay, Crobat, Honchcrow, Magnazone and Weavile. Actually... To handle the Crobat, we still have our good old Golem. But Crobat now knows Giga Drain. Which is actually horrible. Ironically, the best way to tackle that thing will be our Aerodactyl with Rock Slide. So Aerodactyl is finally gonna see the light of day. Then there is the Haunch Crow. And I think it's Aerodactyl again, actually. Because we don't have any Thundermon. Well, we can swap to Rhydon for the rock slides. So that's one option. We can take two rock mons. Then there is the Magna Zone. That's Earthquake. Which means we can finally level up this little Turtwig into something useful. And to handle the Weavile, we need a fighter. Okay. Any chance you learn Muck Punch or something like that? Probably not. But you do resist the Icicle Crash, so I think it's gonna be you. But do I want to risk you? I'd prefer to use Krogunk for that, aka our Ready Player One. In case something goes wrong, then we can bring out... Come to think of it, I, well, I don't want to use Porygon Z just yet. Against the Magna Zone, we also have this option. We have the Gabite, but to handle the Weavile, hmm. To handle the Weavile, I guess I'll bring out Arcan. Actually, Arcanine should even swap in. Because he's going to try a nice move and we land an Intimidate. It's even better. Okay, so let's make this the team for now. Get everybody up to like level 51. I think this will work. So, all the way up to 51. Earthquake! Huh. I guess I'll sacrifice the Crunch for now. Stone Edge over Rock Slide. The risk is too much. Okay. We don't have a protector. And I don't think we have access to a protector even. Just yet, at least. Stone Edge? No. I'll keep the Rock Slide for now. Dragon Rush. Maybe over the... Poison Jab, I guess? Because the Poison Jab would be against Grass-type Mons. Which I would never face with a Rhydon. And against Fairies. But for that I have stuff like Toxic Croak, for example. So I guess I'll give that up. And take the Dragon Move! Now, Joker, all the way up to level 51. You learn... How the hell? No, uh, uh, actually, might be good. Over bites, I guess. Hmm. Matter of fact, if you learn that, that's a guaranteed kill on the Weavile. Now, Mulan. You don't need the miner either. Polyroth has some pretty good stats. Nasty plot. 
Well, I'll still take it over the swagger, but I'm pretty sure you're more of a physical attacker. Yeah, you're a physical attacker. Nasty plot doesn't work. This thing doesn't learn sucker, doesn't learn um, any baton pass or anything like that. Cross chop? No. Not for the AT accuracy. Hell no. Sludge bomb? Also no. I'll stick with a poison jab. Flatter. That raises special attack and confuses. Okay, we can finally get our Pulp Fiction put him to some use. Uh, absorb, I guess? I don't know. Are you a physical? Yeah, he's a physical attacker. It was the right call. No Mega Drain. See the bomb, though. That we take. Um, Leech Seed. Yes, sure. Hmm. We got the Torterra. He should learn Crunch pretty soon too. Yep, there it is. No Body Slam. Body Slam is very useful for the Paralysis if you're the NPCs. Otherwise, it's pretty much worthless. No Giga Drain. Okay. Huh. So now, items, items, items. Give them all back to me. Choice Scarf. What a hero. Okay. Is there any risk? Um, yes, there is a risk of status moves. We have the hypnosis situation. We have the thunder wave. And that's it. Okay. So we're gonna need a chesto berry in the aerodactyl. We need a Persimberry for confusion on the Haunch Crow, a Cherry Berry for Paralysis in our Pulp Fiction, and against the Weavile, I guess we can give him the choice Scarf just to try and guarantee that we're faster. And that should be fine. Okay. There is a Pokeball over there. There is the GS Ball over here. Yeah. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> Dragon Fang, okay. King's Rock, hell yes. And anything around these houses. Yeah, okay, this is the herb shop. Was this house... Was this always here? I guess it was, yeah. Okay. Hmm? Okay, just Cynthia's house. Nothing else here. Okay, so we can go and fight. Oh, but there's this guy here first. Okay. Um, hmm. Against this guy, we have to go a little bit further. There it is. Houndoom, Golbat, and Beedrill. Oh, sorry about that. Not sure if you guys heard that. Um, exactly. Houndoom, Golbat, and Beedrill. So we have to plan for that fight first. Houndoom, Golbat, Beedrill. 
Hmm. Can't I just earthquake him or rock slide him? Well, I guess I'll get other mods just in case. But let me save up. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Just realizing this. Um, okay. Let's get you out of the way. Let's get you out. And you out. So against the Houndoom, I'm gonna take the Blastoise for bulkiness. I think I'll I'll take Gyarados. I haven't used him yet. I haven't used him yet, so let's go with that. That's for the Houndoom. To handle the um, Golbat, at this point I have to assume that they have grass type moves. So let's bring out the Aerodactyl. The Beedrill, which we can tackle on with, we can tackle with some fire as well. But I'll take a different fire mon. Give me the Charizard. Well, still a Charmeleon, but still. Let's bump these guys up. All the way up to 51. Ice Fang over Dragon Rage. Aqua Tail over the Water Pulse, yes. Crunch over the Bite. Dragon Dance over the Bounce. Dragon Dance is actually perfect on him. No Outrage. No Hydro Pump. Rain dance? Hmm. Not now. Maybe I'll need to go to the move relearner. Hurricane is special, so no. Okay, and now the Charizard. No need for the scary face. Charizard wants to learn Air Slash. Sure. It's more of a special attacker anyway. Well, crunch over bite, sure. Dragon pulse, yes, absolutely. Any chance you learn heat wave or something? Hey, he learns fire spin, yay! Okay, uh, citrus berries. Let's grab the citruses. Fight that guy. Wait. Who is the first one? Against the Houndoom. Okay, so we're good. Nice intimidate immediately, and we're gonna aqua tail you. Dead. Then for the B drill, get Charizard in. Please, no crit. Oh. That thing ha has outrage? What the heck? Okay. We're still fine. Now let's bring you in. Air slash doesn't work on me. And we rock slide ya. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, 
let's bring everybody back in. You instead of Mission Impossible, aka Charizard, and you instead of the Polyrath, right? I need to double check this. Hmm. So what's the plan? Uh, not Gyarados for sure. Keeping Golem, Aerodactyl and Riven. Then this guy goes in for the Earthquake. This, yeah, this one is in here just in case something goes wrong. Um, for which I can also take... I guess I can get the Gyarados in for a... For an intimidate on the haunch crow or something like that. Hmm. Okay. Do they have the right items? Chesto, Persim, Cherry, and the Choice Scarf. Get the heals. And now we're facing Cyrus. And this should give me Surf, right? Assuming I beat this guy. Okay, Crobat. Let's go Jurassic Park. We do. And we land the rock slide. Nice. Why does it send out Magnazone? Because he sees flash cannon, right? Yeah. Because he sees flash cannon. Okay. So let's bring Pulp Fiction. Thunder Wave doesn't work against us. Damn, I'm dumb. I gave him a Cherry Berry. He can't even get paralyzed anyway. Against the Weavile, he sees Ice, no matter what. Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, he sees one of these. If he Swords Dance, that's free. We land an Intimidate. He Swords Dances. So let's just close combat with the Choice Scarf, and we're done. Then there is... Hmm. The Haunch Crow. It's either Brave Bird or Night Slash. I brought the Rhydon on purpose, because if he dies I don't really care. He has great defense though. Okay. Let's go Fight Club! I got the Persim Berry. So that attack only benefits us. <laughs> he misses the second swagger. And we get the kill. Was this a perfect... Was this a perfect battle? No, I think we got hit. This was a perfect battle. Well, I think, unless the old woman healed us. Really good. Okay. We are now able to surf. And that opens up a few things. Especially an optional area where we can get the, the Thunderbolt TM. Our next opponent will be a tough one. Pelpark Darak. This man has an Entei. And the Metagross, a pseudo legendary. This will be tough. Last time we had a team that could take it. We planned it well, we survived. Now we need to plan just as well again. Okay. Um, so, very quickly, against Galley, we want a flyer, a pure flyer. So I'm taking Staraptor on this, because of the Intimidate. We have a few Intimidate options, which I really like. Hmm. To face the Empoleon, I think this is the right option. We take our Polyrath. Hmm. 
Then to face the Alakazam, who would see Energy Ball, we're taking the Gengar, aka Grinch. Against the Metagross. Hmm. Against the Metagross, I'm thinking it has to be fire. Because Metagross's weaknesses are. Hmm. Ground, Ghost, Fire, and Dark. Ground, Ghost, Fire, and Dark. Pure ground would be the best, but we don't have. We have stuff like Golem, Rhydon. Hmm. Torterra. Maybe. We do have Swampert. We have. I can risk going completely in for the kill with a Guard Chomp. I might actually do that. I might actually go guard chomp on this. Hmm. This doesn't work. We have a bug type. I could go camera opt. But that would be assuming he could take. Assuming that he could take that to the face and an earthquake. Okay, without thinking too much, I would prefer to lose Swampert over the Gabite, so let's go for that. We can also try... Well, I mean, Arcanine could be an option, but... Mm, Arcanine is so good. Then there's the Staraptor with close combat, which means no rocks can be the response for that. We might need to go with our pseudo-legendary Kingdra and Aurora beam him. Huh. Well, Gyarados might be the better option for that, because neither of them are ice, so we don't get the stab bonus either way. But this thing resists the close combat at the very least, and lends an Intimidate on top. Then would come the Entei who sees Stone Edge. And has a Shuka Berry, so we've gotta go water against him. Seems like Blastoise could be the right option. Bulky, Yawn Protect. Hmm. Um, what else? What other possibilities? There's Water Psychic, Water Ice. Losing the Octillery would be... A, mm, boost the attack though. It's a horrible ability. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see... Okay, I think I'll stick with this as is. Let's Rare Candy this team all the way up to 51. No. Brave Birth. Over Aerial Ace? No, but I will teach you Fly. Staraptor is going to face Galley, then it has no way to, to counter the Fly. So. so before I forget, you need Fly. And Surf, you need it, because you're a special type. Yeah. Okay, all the others, they're physical, so they won't get that. I'm just realizing I'm taking four Watermons, which is insane. Mirror coat. Hmm. Uh, that's assuming I even live.
Skull Bash. No. Aqua Tail is a no. And finally. Uh, hmm. I guess I wouldn't mind for now. I can reteach Aura Sphere if we need it. Okay. Then there is the items. Give me all of those back. Oh yeah, this is 10 deaths by the way, I should have updated. Face Darak. Do we need to be careful with any items? Anything? Nope. This guy is purely offense. Offense all the way. That's all he does. That's what makes him tough. Let's see. We need. No Miracle Seed is needed. No bug. Mystic Water on you. Um. So yeah, take the spell tag with you. Then, uh, hmm. Fuck. Never melt dice. Am I taking anybody for that? Well, actually, you. But... Hmm. And what am I taking Polyrath for? It's to handle the Empoleon. So we need physical power. And for this guy, it's more about the ice. Okay. Leftovers on you, I guess. Let me get the muscle band on you. Hmm. Is there anybody that I absolutely want to... definitely want to be faster than this Raptor. So should I give you that? No. For now, we go as is. Okay. So that's Celeste. Oh yeah, we can fish here. Right, forgot about that. Not even a nibble. Magic carp we already have. Nope. Nope. I know there's another Pokemon here. Last time we caught the Rally Camp. But I don't know how... What the percentage is. For him to show up. Well, there it is! Um, we have Pokeballs. There it is. We have a Rally Camp. So, Celestic Town found the Rally Camp. And let's see, what kind of title... What should we name him? I don't have Goodwill Hunting, but... Uh, it's too long, doesn't fit. Uh, hmm. Can be the Whale Rider. That's another. Uh, 
Whale Rider. Okay. Route 211, I think we already have a, um, a Mon from there, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, we found a Teddy Arso on this route. So now we are free. We have a flyer, right? Yeah. We're gonna fly all the way back to Floroma. Because there's still the Fuego Iron Works encounter. Oh, wait a minute. First over here. Max Rappel and... Oh wait, I thought it was here. It's right there. The M24 Thunderbolt. Wait, is that... Oh! I never realized. Shockwave! Okay, so I could have had that this whole time. Hmm. And there it is. This one brings us all the way up to here, which gives us a leaf stone. Well, I've already bought like two of those. A white herb, an ultra. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure if this is meant to spell anything. Doesn't look like. It. Doesn't look like it at the very least. Let's get the berries. And I think I'll risk it on the tree. Female combi. Nice. Uh, do I have anything that can... I can confuse Ray you. I can put you to sleep. I will protect and you're asleep there we go Kumbi. and what should we call this one hmm. I don't have Austin powers Austin Powers. Okay. Wonder if Vespiquen is a good one. Okay, nothing over there. And I know that the items here are completely useless, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. We now fly here. I think that's the only thing we earned. Yeah, that's all we've unlocked. Hmm? Let's put you up first. Uh, you. Put you up first. Welcome to Route 219. We've already fished here. We got a horsey. So, there's no encounter. Here, though, we do have an encounter. Oh, there's an item over there. All that for a max repel. All right. Uh, repel's effect wore off, which is fine. Put you up here for the bulkiness. Wingle is new. Oh, I hate Wingle. Okay, protect. Okay, we have Wingle, which sucks. 
And for Wingle, let's call you Good, Bad, Ugly. So good with a U just to, to fit. Good. Bad. Perfect. Okay, let's keep on going. Route two to one. Okay, this could be a fight. So, who are we facing there? This is route two to one, right? So, there's a swimmer with a swampert. One with a Milotic. And it, it's either one. Swampert or Milotic. We have no response against this. Do we? Actually, don't think we do. Yeah. Against the Milotic, we can Sludge Bomb. But that's about it. And this is swimmer. No, this is the avatar is male, right? Let me take a look at that. Yeah, it's male, so it's it's actually a swampert. Can anybody learn energy ball or grass knot? He can. Okay. Over shadow ball, and I'll give you shadow ball. Do I have Shadow Ball with me? Yes, okay. Then take Energy Ball. Okay. Then you no longer need that. Let's give you back Shadow Ball. All of this just to avoid having to go around. Um. We're already drawing a blank here. 2-2-1, two, two, we still don't have the encounter. Right. Um, but we could benefit from, instead of going in the water, going in the grass. Okay. Is a fisherman a fight here? Rot yeah, fisherman Cory. So never mind, this guy's a battle. I was thinking he could give us one of the rods. Okay. A little bit of healing. Okay, there's an ace trainer. So I'm gonna go up and avoid. Is there a... Isn't there a house around here? There is. Anything good here? Let's see. Oh no, this is the guy that can offer you a focus sash if you... Yeah, but that's chance based. No point there. Okay, this guy is a collector. Yeah, Collector Ivan has a toga kiss and a blissy. A toga kiss and a blissy. Which would mean ice punch and pray that gets the kill. It's too risky. If I were to go for the ace trainer, that's even worse. Because it's ace trainer Shannon. Estrena Shannon has a Vile Plume, Gardevoir, Low Punny, and Nido Queen. Yeah, no shot there. We're better off with this one. With a Togekiss and a Blissey, which means... Which means I'd be risking my Polyrath. Unless I teach this thing a fighting move. I'd prefer to do that. 
Give me Brick Break. Where is Brick Break? Over Earthquake. Yeah, you're not gonna use that, right? Yeah, you're not gonna use that. Okay. Um, do I still have leftovers? Maybe I'd prefer to give him that as well. Mm. Well, well done. rock slide yeah what are you doing protect sky attack okay break break nice swamper took care of business you back up okay that guy doesn't turn made it Whew. nice so now what we can do is try and catch something over here let's uh Put you up first, because it might be grass. Need a Reno. Okay. Confuse where you. Sucker punch. Not bad. Nice. Hurt himself in confusion. Toxic spikes are fine. He snapped out of confusion. So now you need to be confused again. Flatter. Oh, so now I am confused. Okay. No problem. We have a Nido Reno. Nice. Pretty sure it's a better encounter than our previous run. And Silence of the Lamps. How can I even fit that? Gone with the wind, no country for, for old men. Hmm. I guess if I say no country, it's implied. country is fine. Awesome. So, full restores, everybody is fine. Max elixirs on everybody. And now to handle the items. Nobody here has any items. So. Let's see again what we're dealing with. We have a flyer against the Galave. So maybe to ensure that it gets the kill, I would give him the muscle bands. For example. So let's give you the muscle band. Then there is Empoleon, and he would try the Ice Beam. So I'd swap to Mulan. Who is going to use Brick Break. Uh, you need the Expert Belt to get some more damage on you. Okay. You don't need the leftovers, Empoleon can't do much to you. Not to mention, water doesn't even touch him, right? He has water absorb. <laughs> then comes out the Alakazam trying to pull off either a dazzling gleam or an energy ball. Which we can take with Grinch. And Grinch already holds the spell tag. Then comes out the Metagross trying to pull off a Zen headbutt. I 
think it makes sense to bring you out. Possibly with the leftovers. Because if I can get this guy to land dragon dances. Because it can resist Meteor Mash. Earthquake does nothing. Hammer Arm. So I should be able to pull off one. Just one dragon dance. Okay. Against the Raptor, we also have this guy just in case with a rock slide. And against the Entei, we can put him to sleep. We can yawn protect, set up a rain dance, and surf. Mystic Water. This thing doesn't have anything. Um, I guess I'll give him the choice scarf just to make sure that he's faster than the bird. Hmm. I guess this is how it's gonna go. Let's go. Click save. I wonder what the Pell Park does here. Let's face Darak. Oh, Professor Oak. Okay. Catching show. Yep. This is it. Now, I am gonna put everybody at 52, just for peace of mind, I guess. Because I'm really afraid of this guy, not gonna lie. I've just realized that based on the movie names, this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay, uh, the Entei is 48, we're fine. Time to face Starak again. Let's go! Okay, we land one Intimidate, which is awesome. We fly. So this thing is going to miss the close... Oh, he went close combat, okay. Okay, he swapped to Empoleon just as planned. So we can bring Mulan in. Didn't freeze me. I didn't account for that, actually. Should have been more careful. He's... Wow, he is... Just like last time, he is keeping to the plan. Alakazam, energy ball. Why'd you do that? No. You went psychic. I forgot. Alakazam is fighting type. Okay, what can I do? What can I do? Let's calm down. Let's calm down. First of all, a quick update. That's 11 deaths. Hopefully they won't be more. That was a misplay on my end. Complete misplay. Huh. Okay. I can do a crunch with that one. Okay. Let's bring this guy in. We crunch. He is still faster than we are, but we take it. Leftovers helps us out. He brought out Entei, which means Stone Edge is coming. So, we take the tankier one. To do a yawn. We protect. Set up a rain dance. And surf. Okay. Staraptor. He probably sees close combat. So, hmm. Against Staraptor. 
I think I'll bring out the bird again. Because hmm. I do not mind if I lose the bird, to be honest. I don't want to risk losing Gyarados. A close combat I can handle. The problem is if this thing sees a kill with something else. So let me first decrease the attack with the Dark Knight. We might lose this one. Just lose the Dark Knight, I mean, not the battle. He went Brave Birth. Okay. Let's see. I think I fly. Because he's gonna go... He went Brave Birth instead of Close Combat. Okay. We landed a crit. We got off lucky. Okay, this went off script. He's probably gonna try at this stage. Hmm. It's either a Zen Headbutt or a Meteor Mash. Please be Meteor Mash. Right. Because that we tank. Hmm. Let me protect. Without the Gengar, I don't have a response to this guy. Hammer arm. How much does Aqua Tail do? I'm only allowed protect. I have a choice scarf on this one. Hmm. If he's trying hammer arm, I can decrease his attack even further. Let's do that. So that cuts your attack. He hammer arms. Get some leftovers in. Then... He's gonna see Zen Headbutt this time. So I'm gonna decrease his attack even further. Yeah, this might be Sax Staraptor. Okay. Now he probably sees Hammer Arm. So decreases attack again. He misses. Nice. That's good stuff for me. I will Dragon Dance once. Zen Headbutt. Okay. Deals barely anything. And that Life Orb is taking away his HP. So I'm gonna Crunch now. Done. Okay, we only lost one because of my mistake. I forgot that Polyrath was not pure water. It was actually fighting type. That's what screwed me up. Because I needed to bait an energy ball. What a shame. Okay, this one is a heavy loss. We gotta keep going with what we have. Okay. Next battle. Next battle is going to be Barry. Hmm. We're gonna have to plan for this one accordingly. Hmm. Well, we'll think about it once we get there. For now, let's get a team going. So, give me Typhlosion. Give me a Skeptile, why not? You. So I have way too many Watermons. Give me the Crobat, I haven't been using the Crobat in a while. Let's take the Umbreon again. Over Polymath. Hmm? Let's go as is. So now we can just fly all the way back to Jubilife. Get some heals going. And just to double check here. Right. Our next encounter will be at the Canalave City. Where we will fight Barry. We already have this encounter, right? 
218. Yeah, we caught a Finneon. We got a Finneon last time. So everybody up to 51. Card swap. Mm. Okay. Zen headbutt. <laughs> no, but I should teach him cross poison actually. No point in you learning nasty plots. Brave bird, no. You have the fly, that's good enough. And actually, let's fly first to the move tutors, because uh, cross poison is way better. We're better off like that. Mm, okay, that's all you know. That's fine. Helping hands, moonlight, okay, that's fine. You, grass whistle. Nope. You know cross poison, which is a very important move. Flash cannon. Hmm. Well, right now he's pure water. And this... This guy learns the punches. What a shame. But he does learn Earth Power, which is great. Okay, let's take that. This thing's a special attacker, there's no point. Shame, 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 shame. <laughs> Alright, but that's some good stuff. So back to Jubilife. We're actually moving pretty fast. We're almost close to getting our revenge. On Candace. Nice. Is there a point to these fishermen? I mean, we can check, right? The fishermen that we see... Uh, Actually, it doesn't show up. Where's the rocks? Campers... No, this is inside the cave. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not like we're gonna face them anyway. Hyper potion, okay. This guy, okay. Any items over here? There's berries, so absolutely. Now bribe the guard with the tea. And we're at Canalave. Okay, Barry is right over there. So, two face Barry, we need to make some planning. Okay. Hmm. I haven't used this guy because this guy is usually for the stealth rocks. That's the bigger issue. I mean, Swampert can set up stealth rocks. But he doesn't have stuff like Ice Punch. Does he? Oh, wait a minute. Where is Swampert? Right. No, he doesn't have Ice Punch. Hmm. Ideally, actually, I think I'm gonna fly and check that first. Any chance you learn an ice punch? 
We've made it to Canalave anyway, so we can much more quickly go back. Avalanche. Hmm. I mean, at the lack of something better, we could. But then you might as well just rock slide. Yeah. So I guess... I guess what I am gonna do... Is teach you the stealth rock. Because I know you can learn that. Over aqua... Uh, over the protect. Okay. So that goes there. In case we need to fly back, I'll plan here at Pastoria. So this thing can set up a stealth rock, it can take a bit of a hit from a close combat or a brave bird, whatever it is. And then we can swap to... well, no, we're gonna stay in and we're gonna rock slide. Then there is the Heracross. Realistically, Brelum would come, come out and try and grass us. Which would mean going Staraptor. I would take Staraptor over Crobat just because I'm protecting him. <laughs> we would go Staraptor on the Brawl. Then... He would see Heracross because of the Rock Slide, but then it's just another Fly... Uh, you cannot use Fly. You're gonna get hit by a Rock Slide. You'll have to Aerial Ace. I have to remove the fly from this thing. And he's gonna have to aerial ace. And that's Ouroborg. Yep. The move deleter is here, right? Yep. Remove the fly. Okay. And teach him aerial ace. Perfect. So he can just aerial ace the Brelum and the Heracross. Okay. Back to Pastoria. Then, let's say that he has nothing super effective against me, so he's gonna just swap Snorlax in and he's gonna body punch. Body slam, I mean. <laughs> we need a fighter. Who can take... We can take the Crunch because we're fighting type. But this one also can... He's not a fighter. He's not. We take the Toxic Rogue. I think. Yeah, we take the Toxic Rogue. Yeah. Toxic Rogue goes Drain Punch. Then... Let's say he just brings out the Arcanine. Against the Arcanine, we want water. So let's take bulkiness. Um, no. I will take Gyarados because of the Intimidate. I don't mind taking Crobat in case something goes haywire. Unless I have a third flyer somewhere. No. <laughs> I have this flyer. Yeah, that's fine. So let's go with that. And then to tackle on the Empoleon, who has Grass Knot? Hmm. Ideally, Thunder. No, it's gotta be Grass for him. He doesn't have any ice moves. So we can go with this one, who has massive defense, but that thing's a special attacker. This thing is better. What about the American Psycho? Mm, not as defensive. The Dragon could also be good. Hmm. Let's go Venusaur on this one. Okay, I think it's a pretty interesting team. Get everybody up to 52. Don't need double edge. Oh, no 
only for synthesis on you. There we go. Then there is the matter of the items. Actually, let me just just to make sure that everything in this one box. Okay, just so I know for sure how many options I have. Okay. Okay, we have 30, 42, 47 plus the team. We have 53 Pokemon alive. Okay, now let's talk items, so I'm taking all of this out. Now, against the Staraptor, I'm gonna give you a Citrus Berry, in case of some crits. Then, for the Heracross and the Brelum. For the Heracross and the Brelum, we're gonna go physical, so that's a muscle band on the Staraptor. Against Arcanine. I guess I'm gonna give the leftovers to you, maybe? Hmm, I'll give the Expert Belt on you. We have... Hmm... There's the choice scarf, but I don't see a point to that. I guess I'll just grab some citrus berries instead. Yeah. Well, I do have water, so we can take the mystic water. And I'll give a citrus berry to the Aerodactyl. Uh, I forgot one thing. Lumberry on the Toxic Rock, actually. Because of paralysis. And in that case, I'll give the Expert Belt to you. I don't think there's any other spore against the Brelum. Right, I need a Chesto Berry. Well, uh, we can just use Lumberries at this stage in our flyer and that's it yep that is it do not forget stealth rock goes first that's why we're bringing him we have aerial ace because we don't want to get hit by a rock slide we have drain punch we have aqua tail okay this thing has earthquake it can also work okay and this thing is going to just use energy ball it's actually pretty fast for what it looks like. I'm forgetting one thing. This thing isn't weak to grass. Right. This thing is not weak to grass. It's electric fighting or ground. <laughs> okay. It's electric fighting or ground. To be honest, the best chance would be to put him to sleep and then swap this guy in for the drain punch. Yeah, let's go with that. Healing. And we're flying to our opponent. <sighs> are we ready? Of course we are. Let's go. Okay, first, Stealth Rock, yeah. Okay, that's a massive amount of damage. This thing's gonna kill us with a second double edge. Huh. So I have to swap this guy in. To lower the attack. Well, it exerts pressure, actually. That's a 
ton of attack. We're faster, luckily. Okay, swap to Empoleon. He should see Surf. Right. Huh. I'm thinking. Surf, Flash, Cannon and Grass Knight. Dragon Dance once. Okay, twice now. Um, how much does Aqua Tail do? Nearly gets the kill. This thing sees Stone Edge. I think this is sacking the Aerodactyl. Unless he prioritizes Spore, which he probably doesn't. I guess this is sacking the Aerodactyl. Yep. There it is, Stone Edge. So now we Aerial ACU. Heracross, we Aerial ACU. Okay. That's 12 deaths. Hmm. Now, the Arcanine, I don't know what it sees, but it could be Flare Blitz. Because, you know, stab move. Um, so I think I'm going to swap over to this guy. And bait something else. I took way too much damage with Gyarados. Okay. Hit with recoil. Okay, close combat doesn't do that much. We missed the Aqua Tail. Okay. Then I got a risk with this one. Lower the attack again. We resist it. We Aqua Tail you. Nice. Snorlax. Against the Snorlax, he sees Body Slam or Crunch. We gotta bring in the Fighter. We heal the Paralysis and we Drain Punch him. He lost speed, so we won. Okay. Oh, okay, we missed more Aqua Tails than we wanted to, but we only lost one. And this time it wasn't Crobat. I think it was Crobat that we lost here last time. Okay. Whew. It may not look like it, but we are getting better. 12 deaths on the 6th gym. I'm pretty sure that's better than before. Okay. Now, next opponent is going to be... At the Iron Islands. Riley. <laughs> Riley is insane too. To face off the Absol. Actually, let me take a look at Kumbi. Because it's bug type, it might be the answer. Let's also level up a few of our mons, just to get an idea of what we have in our hands. I think we need to see what else we got. We still don't have access to a protector. I think. 
least I think we don't. Um, Butterfree, let me get this guy. Yeah. And the Remory as well. Okay. We need to see what options we have with these mons. Vespiquen. Tailwind is interesting. Doubling the speed. Bug bite, bug buzz. Okay. Let's go with. Let's make it special. Although it's more of an attacker. Destiny bond. I will actually give you that. Because this thing has so many weaknesses. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's get a camera up. A special attacker. Okay. Flamethrower over Lava Plume every single time. Yon is great. Uh, I'll keep the Earth Power. Uh. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. Eruption. Hmm. No, because he will always be slow. So I won't take that. Let's see what this one learns. Should be an attacker. So sure, learn the knockoff. You, mm, charm is better. Progly. No. You can take the wake up slap over the assist, absolutely. Play rough over the slash. In hindsight, it's normal type, isn't it? Attract is really good. I will take that. I think over the wake up slap. This thing is pure normal. Okay. Okay, I pushed you to 53, that's fine. Body slam, okay. Over that. Flail, no thank you. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Aurora Beam, yes. This thing is more of a special attacker, naturally. Mud shot. Damn, that's some variety. This thing is an... This thing is an all-rounder. Quite a lot of coverage. No focus energy, please. No focus energy, please. Okay, I'll take the bubble beam instead. Octazuka, except the accuracy is really bad. That's worse than bubble, bubble beam. Signal beam, or the bug. Could be useful. Could be useful. I guess I'll learn that over much shot. Because if I'm using a ground move, it's either against a Firemon, in which case I have a water move, or it's against an electric type, in which case I wouldn't even be using Octillery. Ice Beam? Absolutely. Seed Bomb's physical, so no. Flamethrower, yes. Psybeam is good. Uh, but for this upcoming fight, I'd rather keep the signal beam. Yeah, it's, it's not psychic, so flamethrower is just more powerful. No hydro pump. I don't like the accuracy drop. Same thing with the gunk shot. Hyper beam. <laughs> no. Okay. If you know Brick Break, you do not need Vital Throw. I wonder if Pinsir is even any good. It learns... okay, it naturally learns Swords Dance, which is cool. Close Combat, yes. Absolutely. 
do you learn Megahorn? Any chance? You should, right? There it is. 85. Okay, I'll take that. Super power. It cuts the attack. That's the problem. Come on, Wizard of Oz. Guillotine, please no. Okay, and now the no country. Poison tail. That's pretty good. Huh. Captivate. You learn toxic spikes, which is very, very good. Uh, over the flatter, you can learn captivate. Head smash. Rock type move. Very good. Sucker punch is conditional, so... So I guess you level up with something like a stone, right? Um, hmm. Uh, I don't think I have any moonstones for you, though. Is it a moonstone? Let's see. Evolution changes in the Renegade Platinum. Nothing. So for Nidorina to evolve, it needs to be exposed to a moonstone. Okay. Well, what I can do for you is buy one. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I can teach you fly first and foremost. I'll just take this one. It's good to have these options, because then I can sacrifice a few mons if I see that they die or something. Instead of sacrificing my good ones. I didn't want to go here. I wanted Veil Stone. Because you can buy stones somewhere around here. It's not here though. Okay. No Moonstones. Nido King. Cool. Hmm? Off to Canalave. And we're back to the planning. Now, where were we? There it is. Um. Okay. Assuming this thing could deal some damage. We can go bug type on Austin Powers. But would I prefer this one? Bug flying? Compound eyes? Accuracy is boosted? But it doesn't have any bug type moves. Hmm. Let's assume I'd rather train you. Let's assume we go butterfree on this. Against the Absol. Then he has an Ursaring, a Slacking, and a Lucario. We need fighters for this. Or we can fight with our own Ursaring. We can try. We can try and fight with our own Ursaring. Because since we have access to Salacion, every Mon is EV trained either way. And we can even equip a Choice Scarf if we want to. So we can guarantee that kill with our own Ursaring. Then we're facing Metagross. I think I would go with our Mission Impossible, aka Charizard. Unless you want to go Octillery on him. Hmm. Because we can also go with this against the Absol, but the Absol is really, really fast. And our defenses are not that great. I guess we can, assuming the Meteor Mash. 
Assuming the Meteor Mash, we survive it a lot better. Uh, but we're not faster. That's the problem. So yeah, we'll take the Charizard for this one. Then there is the Salamence. We need an ice user for this. And I think our best bet would actually be the Lapras we've been keeping in the back. Dragon Rush, Fly, and Crunch. Hmm. It's not the fastest thing, but it one-shots the... How fast is Glolly? Oh, you're faster. Then I would take you instead. I would take the Glolly. Then against the Slacking, we need another fighter. Hmm. Well, let's assume the Toxic Rock. Against Lucario, I guess we could actually go Needle King. Uh, no. Something that resists. Ironically, a flyer would be the better response. Even though we don't deal that much damage, we do have close combat. Let's level up these guys. Uh, whirlwind? Uh, I guess over Captivate, I mean. I'm kind of wishing that you learn... Ooh, that's better. Tailwind. Yeah. Teleport, no points. Hurricane. Mm, no. Uh, you do have Compound Eyes, so I will bet on that. Over the Shadow Ball. But I still want you to learn a Bug-type move, that's why I have you here. I don't think I have any Bug-type moves that are... Hmm, not physical. X scissor, it's physical. We'll figure it out at the move tutor. Uh, let's see, who else? Yeah, Scarface. Scarface needs some levels. No thrash. Hammer arm. Play rough over crunch, I guess. You can. But I would still prefer you learn close combat. What's this? Switcheroo? Switches held items. <laughs> That's neat. Hmm. I guess I'll leave it for now. But it's an it's a neat move. Hail. No, we don't want to set up hails. Blizzard. No, this guy's physical. Okay. We need to fly um, and see if this Butterfree learns anything. Oh, right. Uh, I need to teach fly again. Surf there. Hmm. Silver wind, that's all you know? No, you know Bug Buzz. And I'll take that over the Giga Drain for this fight. Nice. You. Cross jump. 
or hammer arm. Then I'd rather go brick break. But it probably means Ursa Ring then dies. Dragon Claw? No. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. You learn Explosion, you learn Head Smash. Uh, this guy's physical, so Head Smash would be good. Yeah, it doubles my power and I sack 10 accuracy, so I think it's worth it. This guy... Fake out? Why didn't you absolutely take fake out? Okay, and that's about it. Because this thing is physical, right? Yeah, it's physical. And you... That's it. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna take a look at the other tutors just in case. Doesn't even matter. I can just um, bug buzz. Psychic. And. Um, Never mind that. Let me swap out. Okay, flamethrower. Uh, dragon pulse. There we go. Yeah, that's the thing about the butterfree. This thing has no defense. Okay, let's take a look at you. Signal beam. Yeah. Oh no no no. Bug buzz is actually better. Okay. What else? You learn superpower. That will absolutely do. Outrage. Hurry. Heat wave. Yes. Oh, it's not a hundred accuracy anymore. Even the... Oh man, even the power got nerfed. Iron Head. I think it's fine as is for now. Mud Slap, Gunk Shot, Bounce. It's fine. Mud Slap, Endeavor, Hurricane. You learn Heat Wave. Ominous Wind and Air Cutter. I think I prefer... It does have Compound Eyes though. I'll bet on it. Yeah, let's keep on. It learns the punches. Damn, that's how good this thing is. But for this fight, we just want the, the fighting stuff. Ominous Wind, Air Cutter. Over air slash, there's no points. Icy wind, no points. You learn the punches. I think I want those, actually. I think I'll take the ice punch. Okay. And this guy is more about support, so pretty much all of his moves we don't want. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's be a little bit more realistic. Let's assume one bug buzz. Actually, I need to check this in the calculator. Just give me a second, guys. We have a Butterfree. Okay. Uh, with Bug Buzz. We are facing an Absol. It kills. A Bug Buzz absolutely sees the kill. Well, wait, this is level 100. I need to reduce this to 
like this. Okay, it still sees the kill, no problem. Okay. So this thing can kill an Absol. Once that happens, who joins? Well, once we get the kill, it could be, since it's bug flying, it could be Salamence for the fly. It could be Lucario for the blaze kick. So no matter which one it is, we would bring out the Krogunk. No, no, it does matter. It does matter because if it's Salamence, we bring out Glali. If it's Lucario, then we bring out the Krogunk. Exactly. So let's assume he immediately brings out Lucario. We bring this guy in. And we kill the Lucario. Then who comes next? Against the poison type, he sees it either Metagross or Salamence. If he sees Salamence, we get the kill. We have Ice Punch for that. So regardless of the of which one it is, we're gonna see Metagross on the field. And Metagross is gonna see Zen Headbutt on us, because we're Poison Fight. The only issue is that this thing is gonna try and use Agility, and if I don't kill it, it's gonna trigger the Liechi Berry. He's gonna try and kill my entire team. I need to actually see which move... Which move does he see? Um, so if they have a Metagross... With the moves... Meteor Mash... With Earthquake... And Zen Headbutt... And they're now facing a Toxicroak. Have I been calling this thing Krogunk, come to think of it? Toxicroak. He sees 50 to 60% on the Meteor Mesh, 75 to 90 on the Earthquake, and 185 to 220 on the Zen Headbutt. Okay. So if I swap... Oh, so that's the issue. Uh, yeah... Okay, so he's, he's gonna try to do a Zen headbutt when we swap this guy in. Okay. And then the question is, can a Charizard flamethrower you? Let's see... Flamethrower U, given it's level 52, and, uh, okay, yes, it sees the kill, okay, then the other question, an EV trained Ursaring mm, should be able to beat him, it's even jolly, so it's as the maximum it can be, hmm, so yeah, I think think that this is actually going to be the team for him. Okay. To face the Absol, to face the Ursaring, to face the Metagross, to face both the Salamence, the Lucario, and the Slacking, which is insane. Well, to be fair, to face the Lucario, we can take this guy in. Who can just close combat his way through. I'm not sure close combat sees the kill. I need to actually check this. Staraptor versus Lucario. And this Staraptor. Okay, jolly type. Level 53. Uh -huh. Against the Lucario of level 50. Okay, and.
and I have close combat. No. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Forgot the level. <laughs> it does. It gets the kill. Okay. So now we know for sure. There are no status effects. Except the body slam on the slacking. Uh huh. But we should be faster and we should see the kill with Krogunk either way. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let's see. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Anybody need rare candies? No. Okay, so right now it's just the items, right? Okay, so it's just items. Let me grab them. Oh, you were holding my leftovers. Let's see. Against the Absol, we can finally make use of that um, bug thingy we were holding. The silver powder. We can go for that. To face the Ursa Ring. I will take the Expert Belt. I will take on a Charcoal... is out here somewhere on Mission Impossible. And for the Salamence I will just boost my physical moves. And... Hmm. White herb, no points. What does this thing know again? So it's fake out and the drain punch. Okay, the drain punch gets us healing, which is fine. I don't think I have any TMs for um, a tougher physical move. No, it's pretty much just drain punch and break break, and that's about it. Hmm. Okay. The question is, what is Glali gonna take? I think I'm just gonna give him a Citrus. And something to boost my close combat, if I have. No, I don't think I have it. So I think I'll just take the Life Orb on Staraptor. And this is the fight. Now let's assume another situation. Butterfree kills the Absol, but now instead of seeing Salamence first with the fly, oh sorry, instead of seeing Metagross, no. Actually, regardless of what they swap, we need Glali to go in first. To take a fly or a Zen headbutt to the face. We do have higher defense, so... But Icicle Crash... Hmm... Can we get better something else on him? Ice Shard goes first, which is not bad. I guess I'd go for the avalanche. Hmm. Just to ensure... Just to ensure that it hits. And I think that I would give you the never melt ice. Metagross is coming with the Zen headbutt. Okay, then I swap this guy in. So if it's Absol Metagross, this is what happens. 
and we get the kill. And after that happens, he's probably gonna go Ursa Ring with Play Rough, which we can just take on with Scarface, I think. So we could go Slacking as well for the Play Rough, which would be even better. Because I'd bring this guy in. This thing can resist. That's about it. Okay. I think we're as ready as we can be. stop here and do this fight tomorrow. Sorry guys, I really wanted to get through the um, through the 6th gym today, but it's really a lot of fights to get there. A lot of planning, a lot of care. We took 3 deaths on the way, not bad, in my opinion. Um, but hey, overall I think we managed to do quite a bit. We tackled we tackled the, our rival, we tackled Cyrus, we tackled Darak, we tackled Barry. So it's pretty good. So I'd say that what we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna beat Riley and Byron for the gym and maybe try and get through Saturn and Mars, Team Galactic, with less casualties so we can be in front of Snowpoint Gym tomorrow, which means we'll get our revenge in a matter of two days. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Alright, so I will now check who is live. And we're gonna raid someone. Actually, let's raid, um... Let's raid DRXX. He's doing a Crystal Kaizo Plus Hardcore Nuzlocke. Raid DRXX. And thank you, for, thank you for watching. Same time tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central Eastern European time. And if you want, you can follow my Twitter to find out other streams that I do every now and then. Right now it's inscription on random times, really. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time. Bye!